welcome back to the Matt Carey Bradshaw YouTube channel. In this video, I'm updating you, doing a little follow up for my wellness journey. Um, as of today, I am officially at my goal weight. I am officially at a healthy blood pressure. I am no longer knocking on the door of hypertension. My blood sugar is at a optimum level. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'm really grateful. This means that I can start the process of slowly coming down off of my meds. And I just want to kind of let you guys know where I am right now with things. Um, I started this part of the journey at the top of the year in um, 2021, January, where I learned that I was insulin resistant. I started working with an endocrinologist. Um, you can watch the first video about that whole situation. I will link to it in the episode description. And now here I am in October 2021, and I have been consistent with my medication. I've been consistent with my doctor's visits. I've been consistent with taking care of myself and being mindful. And I have arrived at a healthy weight. What I want to talk to you about today is, um, number one, the two medications that I'm on. I take an oral medication called metformin, and I do a weekly injection of Ozempic. Both of those medications are approved for people who have issues with blood sugar but who aren't actually diabetic, but diabetics can also take them. Um, I'm sharing that just because people are curious, but that is still something. My condition is something that you have to be tested for by a doctor, and they will prescribe you whatever medications are deemed appropriate for you. I cannot emphasize enough the extent to which this is a medical condition. Do not get me wrong. I'm really happy about the um, aesthetic difference, but I truly just didn't want to be a diabetic and obviously that's no shade to diabetics but if that's not if that's something that you can avoid why wouldn't you um, both of my parents have hypertension that's something that I obviously want to avoid as much as possible so while I am happy that I can you know fit into some things and you know working out is easier because I'm lifting and running and carrying less weight on my body I just want to be very clear that health and wellness is the goal here. And that's also why I'm not publicly saying exactly how much weight I lost or what my goal weight is, because I just don't want to feed into what those numbers can mean for you. Um, I attended a wedding a couple of weeks ago and I was um, in my hometown of Atlanta where I'm from, because I said hometown, duh. Um, and I was a little bit overwhelmed by people's response to my weight loss. Believe it or not, I actually really do not enjoy being the center of attention. It just kind of happens because I am a loud ass extrovert and I really don't enjoy being the center of attention, particularly when it comes to aesthetics. And I know that that doesn't make sense because I wear very loud, bright colors, and I'm not like necessarily a very muted or subdued, you know, kind of person. When too much attention is put on me, I become deeply uncomfortable, and I'm also learning to be okay accepting compliments, but I was quite overwhelmed with people's response to my weight loss for a couple of reasons, because for one thing, I'm noticing how differently people treat you when you are smaller. And I feel like I have a level of privilege now that I should not have because we shouldn't treat people differently based on their bodies, but it's a thing that we do. And I really kind of grappled with, is this something that I want, but it's also not something that I can control. And just making sure that the content that I put out and the way that I respond to people um, when they ask me questions about 
you know, what I'm doing and all of that stuff. I just want to make sure that I'm being intentional, that I'm being responsible with the way that I communicate things. But people use words like, oh, you're so skinny. I really don't like that word. Um, and something that I had to talk through with my therapist and with um, one of my sisters is that I... Even when I was a very tiny person, I really didn't like being called skinny. I am a black woman from the South. All the women in my family, most of the women, 98% of the women in my family are very curvy. So I have always really loved curves. And I was very excited when I started to get curves. And I didn't realize the extent to which I kind of made that a part of my identity is being this curvaceous woman. Um, I think that was also a part of me embracing my weight gain was just like, oh, I'm just, you know, curvy. And I really grew to like that. And I still like that. And I still feel like I'm curvy. So when people are like, oh, you're so skinny, I'm just like, I am not. Um, and I don't think that anyone ever means any harm by it. But I just want us to be more mindful of the fact that whether a person has gone up or down in their weight, commenting on their body could trigger them in a way that you have no idea. And it's just something that I just want us to think about um, with more intention as we learn how to be better to each other. Um, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be called skinny. I, I think that that's really harmful and, you know, leads to people having eating disorders and all kind of stuff. So that is not now, nor has it ever been my goal. The other thing um, that... I'm dealing with right now is my wardrobe. If you don't know this about me, I absolutely love style and fashion and all of those things. And I shop with a lot of intention. So every piece of clothing that I own, I really, really like. And before I buy anything, I find something to give away. I like having a very curated wardrobe so that I know how to mix and match. I know what I need and what I don't need. It stops me from shopping frivolously, which is also a huge part of the reason why I stopped shopping fast fashion because I found myself just going into those stores just because they were there and, and buying shit that just like did not last. But as I have lost a significant amount of weight, I have to basically create a whole new wardrobe. I have to give away a lot of stuff, some stuff I'm trying to sell, some stuff I'm getting altered. There are these bags of clothes that I have had for about four or five years now that it was stuff that I just slowly started to size out of but that I didn't want to let go of. I was like, okay, when I lose weight, I can fit these again. And I was calling these like my bags of shame. And it was like, girl, you need to just give this stuff away. Like you will probably never be able to fit into them again. And oddly enough, some of that stuff is actually too big now. And I'm like, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting this. So going through the process of shifting things out, you know, getting things altered, I feel like I'm kind of leaving a part of myself behind. Um, I went through something similar when I got my breast reduction a few years ago where I went from an H to a D. And when I had to give away all of my G's and H's, I was like, oh my God, like I'm no longer like this person who has freakishly large boobs for my size. Like, wow, this is different. So now that I've lost the weight that I have lost, I, j I have a whole new body. I have not been this weight and had this size boobs ever. Um, I don't think my boobs have been this size since like eighth grade. So I genuinely have like a new body and it is a transition that I was not fully mentally prepared for. Um, but I'm very grateful. I'm really happy. And I feel very fortunate that I have a job that gives me really great benefits, that I live in a state like New York that has really great doctors um, who have a healthy respect for Eastern and Western medicine practices. Um, I'm really grateful that I have a therapist because I know those are really hard for some people to find. I'm just in a place of immense gratitude, but I'm also transitioning into a new phase of myself and just figuring out what that means for me and um, 
how to create content around this in a way that is responsible. So for the people who have been asking me, like, what are you doing? How did you, you know, lose all this weight? I'm going to continue to refer you to my first video about this and, um, and also this follow-up video to say that I have arrived at a place of, of you know, improved health and wellness, and I'm really grateful for it. But it's also a time of like deep reflection and transition for me to understand the way that I've talked to people about their bodies and like, how can I be respectful of my friends who I feel like, oh my God, you're perfect. You don't need to do a thing. Um, but also just be respectful of how they feel about their bodies and like, how can we be better to each other when it comes to the topic of weight and, and all of those things. Um, especially my friends who are moms, who are new moms, who just feel disconnected from their bodies and who feel like they, you know, look all kinds. Some of the ways that my friends have described themselves, I'm just like, oh my God, if I said, if I described your body to you the way that you're describing your body to me, you would shoot me in the face. And I don't know. I wish that they could see themselves the way that I see them, where it's like, do you not recognize like what your body did? Your body housed and grew and then fed a whole person. That's not a small thing. Um, but anyway, I also want to be respectful of like where they are um, in their lives and like how I can be a supportive friend. So I'm still figuring out content around this. Of course, fitness is still a priority because again, I do not want high blood pressure or diabetes or, you know, any of the other slew of things that we can't, that are, you know, preventative. Um, so I'm looking for a, another trainer. Um, my trainer is still clutch. She is, you know, working on some other projects right now. She's still, you know, on the roster, but I want to respect her time. So I'm looking for some additional ways to create content around how I'm going to maintain this weight. Um, I think maybe that will be helpful because I do now have to be more mindful of what I eat, how I do that. I'm also going to interview a dietitian um, slash nutritionist who has a very intentional way of viewing eating and diet culture and all of those things just so that I can make sure that I'm taking care of myself as I transition off of the medication. So I'll circle back with that. Slide in the comments. Let me know if you have any specific questions or anything that you really would like for me to address that I didn't address in this video or the previous one. And for everyone who has sent me very kind messages, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Even if you caught me skinny, I know you didn't mean no harm. <laughs> I just want to be mindful. So thank you guys so much for your support and stick with me. I'm going to continue creating content around this topic, but I really want to take my time with it and make sure that I'm being more helpful than harmful. So I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure you check back for my um, recaps on, you know, um, reality TV. I'm going to be recapping Insecure once it premieres. Also going to be talking about some pop culture topics. So come back over here, check in with me, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.